look at that, dude. Whoa! Do you know how to say corn? Corn. Suck my, suck my balls. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? What the hell is this? This is for the Panda Hot Pot place, boys. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Um, the C Pop Idol getting it. Yeah, you gotta scream. I mean, they're they're all like a couple steps behind or ahead of each other, but it's fine. Whoa! Holy! What the hell's a mosh pit? It's a panda pit. What the hell is going on, dude? That was crazy, guys. Welcome to welcome to the stream. What is that? Dude, look at this tattoo. Dude, look at that. Look at that, guys. This place is awesome. I love this place. This is the uh, barbecue roast pork. You guys know char siu pork with egg and rice. Woo! Woo! Perfect. This is a fat one for you guys. The price of this food, this bowl is um twenty nine RMB. Four dollars. What are what this uh, A stand for? Asshole. It stands for her new last name. Yeah. Give me some. Awesome. My hair. Are you serious? Yeah, it's fun. Don't break it. You're the best water. You're welcome. Dude, what is this? Another Chinese EV cup? Look at this! What is this? It's a... Dude, what is this? Look at the lights. Look at the hearts on the freaking oh, that's so the fog cute. lights. We are here in Shenzhen, southeastern city in China. Another tier one city known as the electronics capital of China and I would say the world. Most of your electronics anywhere in the world probably come somewhere or touched somewhere in Shenzhen. The Silicon Valley of China, the bordering city of Hong Kong, and like I've said before, my favorite city outside of Shanghai in China. We're gonna go ahead and head to an area that is gonna be a little commercially, and then head out to a little bayside style area at a beautiful park and just take a little peek at some different sides of Shenzhen. Ah, there's the mall, I see it. The mix. What the f? Is this is a pink McLaren? Damn. Nice car. Yeah, no problem. Look at this guy, he's got three phones. What the hell? This is a spot. Wait, what is this three phones thing? Wait, this place is like, why is it so popular? This guy has three phones too. I know all of you guys told me this place is really popular with the young people and taking pictures, but my question is why? This place is nowhere better than any other mall I've seen so far. It's like the same, they, they have one golden tree. A Dior tree. They have this tree, like they have this stuff at every mall. Because everyone's here. Even the freaking grannies are here. Like people are just here. But I don't see why. Like you might be too old to get it. What do you mean, dude? But it's just like a curb, right? You guys see what I'm talking about, right? Like they're just sitting on a, on a curb. Like this curb has no value than any other curb in Shenzhen. But for some reason, this is the curb that you got to take pictures on. Like this makes sense. It's a it's a cool Christmas tree. Whoa. I don't know what building this is, but they call it the bamboo shoot building. Is that what they call it in Chinese? Wait, this girl has the three phones too. Look, look, look. I gotta know what's up with the three phones. I wanted to also go, I think there's like a really beautiful park overlooking the bay, which is where I wanted to go today on the, during the sunset, which is happening kind of soon here. Let's go check out this beautiful park. Damn, look at all the construction, dude. Shenzhen's wilding out. Okay, this is what I was looking for, the bay. The sunset over there, oof. Uh, Shenzhen is actually not that touristy. Uh, they have some tourist stuff, but it is not like a touristy city that you think about in China when you think about cities like Beijing, Great Wall of China, Xi'an, Terracotta Warriors. It's not as touristy as other cities in China, but there are still tourists that come here. Shenzhen is a relatively new city, like 30 to 40 years old, which means it doesn't really have that much history like most cities in China do have. And so most people from Shenzhen are actually like transplants, you can say, from other cities. Uh, have moved here from other cities in Guangdong or other cities around China. Yeah, everything looks new because it's a fairly new city compared to a city like Shanghai or something that has a much more historical presence. Wow, look at that, dude. 
Thank you, Ira. Wow. Dude, shit, the weather is so nice right now, too. Like, man. Look at all these people out here, too, enjoying the freaking bay, enjoying the park, enjoying life. It gives me hope in this world, you know? This is kind of like the Bund. This reminds me of the Bund. Holy crap. Shenzhen Ren Tai Gong Yin. Damn, everyone's just sitting looking at the skyline. I've actually never been here, which is nice. Yeah, so I think it's flowers. Yeah, it's real flowers too. It's the yellow and the red is probably roses. Yeah, but they're definitely flowers. Ooh, let there be light, baby. Whoa, and it lights up. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> huh. The little, the little girl. She said, I found, I saw a Maygor. And so she just said, Mom, Mom, I saw an American. <laughs> the little girl's like, Maygor? <laughs> America? Yeah, so Maygor is American. Yeah, if you guys want to learn some Chinese, here's your Chinese lesson of the day. Guo means country. So basically, almost every country in the world in Chinese is something Guo, most countries. For example, China is Zhongguo, which means middle country the central country you know it's in the you guys get it right america's may guo which you know means beautiful country as you can tell all right guys let's go take a look at the wang Hong street one more time this is where all the uh pictures are being taken on this damn street oh my god there is a lot of friendly looking people we're gonna go here in the next day, couple days, guys. This is called the Window to the World. It's basically a replica copy of all the famous places around the world. <laughs> and they have like a, a miniature version of all the famous in the world, like the Louvre. Like they have like literally like the Colosseum. It's like a miniature version of the attractions of the world. Whoa! Yo, let's go! Today we're gonna be with our friend, his name is Stan. And he's been my friend for 15 years. I met him on World of Warcraft, and eight years ago, nine years ago, when I lived in China, I met him for the first time when he invited me to his wedding. Today I'm going to Shenzhen, which is a Chinese city very close to Hong Kong. Well, I'm here with Stan. Chat, let me introduce you guys to someone very special. The man, Alienda. We're refondling the fire. All right, chat, this is our vehicle, guys. If anyone's wondering, chat, I don't normally have this lifestyle in pri with private drivers and fancy vans. It's a special treat this week that my old boss happened to be out of town and so he let us borrow his driver. Welcome, we're at uh, Lianhua Shan. Gongyuan, which is the Lianhua Shan Park here in central or Futian area of, of uh, Shenzhen. And uh, we're gonna go explore this park, have some cool things to see, and then we're gonna head back into town yeah, a little bit. Does. Wait, I hear the music, you hear that? It's Beethoven. This is like a little, uh, you can rent a little boat. Stan, you should've told me to stretch, man. Look at these steps. I'm not a marathon runner like you. <laughs> We've made it to the top of Lianhua, Shan. Lianhua Shan. Oh, Lianhua Shan. Whoa. What the heck? What is this building? This building is Shimin Zhongxi, called Civic Center. Oh yeah, the Civic Center. Okay. Damn, this is so beautiful. I'm happy the sun got, or the weather got a little better. And this tower is one of the tallest towers in China, right? No, no, no. It's a third. Third tallest. Still pretty, pretty tall. Yeah, Shenzhen is like a very long city chat. It spans from like north to south. Pretty long. Like it's like a long stretch. Actually, it's from east to west. East, okay, yeah. yeah east to west. It feels kind of stretched out, like yeah, stretched out. right. Yeah, yeah really long, a long city. There's Mr. Deng Xiaoping. This building. You, the, mean, the, you know, you know why they made uh, red? Oh, the red one. No. Yeah, it's a graveyard. Oh, underneath the building. Yeah, underneath the building. So um, too many people dead. Wait, where's the bodies? Bodies. Uh, underneath the building? Yes. No way. Yes. Yes. That's what? why they made a uh, red. Okay, let's take a picture first and then we'll go down. I'm gonna tickle you, Stan. Dude, hell yeah! Dude! That's good. That's a good photo! With our boy, Deng Xiaoping! What does this say? 
So I was, I was learning Cantonese recently. Do you know how to say corn? Corn. Suck my, suck my balls. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. I hope you guys enjoyed your little visit there to Lian Hua Shan Gongyan. Lian Hua Shan Park here with Stan, our local tour guide. See you, dude. See you tomorrow. I'll message you. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Chat, say bye to Stan. Bye. All right. Bye. See you soon. Get home safely. We are now at the uh, Civic Center here in Futian, which is uh, the central downtowny area of uh, Shenzhen. And you can see it's really beautiful. This uh, goes to the park. We were just up there on that mountain at the Deng Xiaoping uh, statue up there. Uh, really cool to take a look at that beautiful park. And now we're at the Civic Center here. Dude, look at this. This is cr like look at this picture. Look at the like the symmetry, the red. Like it just looks so nice. It's like a little uh, farmer's market or something. What is this? Oh, it's crocheted flowers. What? Dude, look. It's the freaking Plants vs. Zombies, but crocheted. Wait, what the heck? What are these kids doing? They're blind? No. Oh, they made up their own song. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Whoa! I got ADHD, that's cool. Can I try? Oh man, this is like ADHD heaven. Oh, thank you. In Shenzhen in December, it's like their big month for a bunch of different uh, activities. This is a uh, little market here that's having a lot of little local brands and stuff. But all sorts of random sh**. We're gonna go over there, but look at this chat. Look what I found. Genius events. Freaking battle bots. What the heck is this? Hello. What the heck is this? Look at the arena! What? Wait, this is the controller? I'm about to go into battle party. <laughs> Chat, this is cool. So there's like basically battle bots and you wear a, a waist harness and you can control its arms and everything like a little, like a mini Gundam. Are these walkie talkies? Oh, kids walkie talkies. Look at this. So cute. And the key is Michael's car. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jake. Jake? Yeah, what's your name? I'm Smile. Smile? Smile. <laughs> your name is Smile? Yeah. I love that name. Where does your name come from? Smile. 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 When, when did you make that name? Uh, because we need to smile. Life is, a, life is like a mirror, right? If you smile to him, to eat, he will smile to you, right? <laughs> I like that smile. So cool, man. What a cool little market, guys. Oh my god, Stan's kid and said hi. Hello, Uncle Jake. <laughs> I'm an uncle. Whoa. Dude, the pencil building building lit up. Whoa, what time is it? 6.30, wow. Perfect. Uh, how do we pay here? Is there anyone watching right now that happens to have a WeChat or Alipay that could just help me buy a bottle of water? My phone's almost at... My man. So this is actually a railway station and a subway station put together, I'm realizing. And it's connected to a convention hall and it's connected to like three malls. This is the Futian station. This is like the most city center station in all of Shenzhen. Wait, this is not the Coco Park I remember. This place is insane. What the f is this? It's like a one, two, three, four. It's a five floor shopping entertainment place. Ain't no way, dude. What the heck? Wait, does LeBron James know that he's the face of Taco Bell in China? Is that a thing? Does he know that? Here we have a soft taco shell and inside we have a fried chicken piece with, I can smell the durian in there. It smells like feet. My name's Jake and this is a durian pineapple cheese taco. Fried chicken taco from Taco Bell in China. It's like a fried chicken but very spicy, like coated. Good spice, a little too spicy, a little artificial spice though. The cheese and the durian really is kind of settle up that spicy chicken. The pineapple gives it a little bit of sweet tang on the spice. But actually, it's not bad. Not my thing though, I don't like durian that much, but I think if you like durian, you might like this. I give it a six out of 10. Durian lovers might give it a seven or more. But anyways, there you have it, guys. See you, man. See ya. Uh, Shenzhen. Uh, we'll be here for about another five days. And then tonight we're going to have dinner with one of my first Chinese friends ever and maybe go to the uh, little nightlife in Shenzhen style stuff. So I'm going to drink my green juice as I prepare for the day ahead. So look at this lighting. Damn. Damn, Hello. What are you thinking about right now? 
thinking about life. What about it? Life is beautiful. The sun reflecting in your eyes makes them look like a very light brown and super, even more beautiful than normal. The Frizzler is back. We're gonna be meeting with my friend Kevin. Kevin is one of my first Chinese friends ever. He studied in LA as an international student and I made friends with him in my Chinese 101 class in 2013 or 14. He played Dota, we became friends, and it's one of my first friends ever. Uh, we hung out a few times in China when I lived here, hung out a little bit in LA when I lived there. I haven't seen him in probably five years, maybe four or five years. I'm really excited to see him again. Yeah, I feel like I'm in like a Tron ride right now. It's crazy. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, it's the boy. It's the boy. Yeah. Hi, Alma. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be honest, yeah. Look at this bakery, dude. What the f is this a croissant bunt cake? What the hell is that? Oh, it looks so good. Uh, dude, you guys had in my stream. Chat, Zhang Hong Yuan. This is brother. Okay, music's good. iPad Girl. I gotta tell you guys about iPad Girl. A lot of you guys don't know about iPad Girl. Legend. I did go up and talk to iPad Girl and I was asking her, hey iPad Girl, what are you doing over there on your iPad? She said, look, my girl, iPad Girl, if you guys don't know, she was reading books. She showed me on her iPad her, her digital book library and what she was currently reading. She was reading books in Chinese. She was legitimately reading novels in the club with her soundproof earphones on, on her iPad. And that is the legend of iPad Girl, which will live on for generations. Creamy. See you guys. Have a good night. We'll see Kevin again. Love you. Oh, that's so nice.